Hi, I'm Sean, this is Chalkspo, and today we'll be talking about the five favorites to win the next Ballon d'Or. The most prestigious individual award in football, the Ballon d'Or, will have its 67th edition on October 17th, which is nearly two months earlier than the usual date of the ceremony. And that's because of the upcoming World Cup in Qatar, so France football decided to go with mid-October. So fasten your seat belts and let's get down to business. Last year, Robert Lewandowski was one of the two favorites to win the Ballon d'Or, but he finished second behind Lionel Messi. This time around, the pole is lower on the list, despite scoring more goals than he had games in 2021-22. Lewandowski decided to leave Bayern Munich this summer. And if he manages to help Barcelona win the La Liga and Champions League next season, the Polish striker will have better chances. Kylian Mbappe was in impressive form for PSG. He bagged 39 goals in 46 games in all competitions and won the domestic title. But playing in Ligue 1 where competition is not fierce as in Spain, Italy or England is hurting his chances for the Ballon d'Or. Well, winning the Champions League would certainly help his cause, but that will not happen until the next season. Hence, the 23-year-old superstar will have to wait a bit longer. Kevin De Bruyne crowned his strong campaign for the Premier League Player of the Season award after leading Manchester City to the second league title in two years. The odds on the Belgian playmaker to win the Ballon d'Or are not great. That's simply because of City's inability to win the Champions League. Even though they were agonizingly close, they were left empty-handed in the semi-final against Real Madrid. Maybe the next season will be De Bruyne's. Mohamed Salah dominated in the Premier League once again by winning the Premier League Golden Boot for the third time, though he shared the award with Song Hong Min. The Egyptian did lose the playoff for the World Cup to his teammate Sadio Mane, while Egypt lost to Senegal in the AFCON final. On top of that, Salah didn't get his revenge against Real Madrid in the Champions League final and fell a point short to Manchester City in Premier League. After finishing 7th in Ballon d'Or 2021, Salah will definitely climb up on the list this time around. But it's going to be hard for him to become the second African recipient of the award since George Weah in 1995. Real Madrid won both La Liga and Champions League and they have to thank Karim Benzema for that. Most recently, he also helped Madrid win the Super Cup. The Frenchman scored an astonishing 44 goals in 46 games in all competitions in the 2021-22 campaign. It includes memorable hat-tricks in the Champions League knockout stage against PSG and Chelsea. Benzema finished fourth in a race for the last year's Ballon d'Or. But this time around, only a miracle could stop him from winning the award. The five-time Champions League winner Benzema was often underappreciated at Santiago Bernabeu, as he was in the shadows of Cristiano Ronaldo and other high-profile players at the club. But this is undoubtedly Benzema's year. And on that wonderful note, it's time for us to call it a day. But we do hope that you liked the video and found it informative. Subscribe to Chalkspo and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.